This is Possum Bayou. I'm going to show you guys a, uh, on the last video I said I'd been to a train show, and it's been a, a month or so at least. And it was a, I got a couple of Blueford Shops cabooses. I got one of them that is a, uh, let me read what exactly that it is. It's a bay window caboose, by the way. They actually both got a bay windows on them. It is a relatively new release. It's been out a couple of months. Okay, well, anyway, I think it's like an international caboose or something. I had a different, I just stored it in a different little box. But anyway, I'll show some little close up pictures maybe of this caboose and also have a uh, Blueford Shops transfer caboose that is in the family line scheme. Basically, I kind of, sort of ish model a Louisville and Nashville kind of family line scheme. That way I can, I like that Seaboard Coastline or Clinchfield or something like that. I can kind of get into it. And it's kind of at a time that you would have seen maybe some Chessie or something with it. So, anyway, I'm going to go around, turn the, flip the phone around and say, hey, give you a little bit of a quick review of these things of what I actually have with them. Yeah, I'm going to do the best I can with what lighting I have here, trying to get it in here. There we go. This light doesn't want to cooperate a little bit. Tighten up the little clamp on it. Get adjusted. There we go. Now this we're going to start off with the Blueford Shops International Bay Window Caboose. I'm going to start here on this side. Notice where I'm pointing at right here with this little dude. Now this an in scale caboose, by the way. This is an actual separately applied grab right here. This kind of, I'm trying to get this thing oriented, keep messing myself up. I'll hold this thing up with my fingers, get under the light a little bit here, a little glare on it. This is my little phone camera now. You got a lot of stuff. I think some of the lettering, I say about there, right above my thumb, but really can't read it. But uh, on the other end, right above that window, on the other end, if you get the right magnification, you can look, read that. And one of the things I like about this particular caboose, I found these ones on the internet of this actual caboose. I actually have an Athern version of it, and I'll tell you one difference between the two. They're both very nice, like, I mean locomotives. This caboose, wrong end of the train. Anyway, actually, there were certain things about the Athern was a little nicer. There was some little guy wires kind of on this thing, little, little bitty things, but kind of hard to kind of keep from messing those up. And this one's got a few little things. It also comes with a uh, generator you can attach to the trucks. Turn this thing upside. I'm not real sure what brand of couplers that is. Look quick. Well, I'm not real sure. Let's see, can't really see them. But I'm gonna hold these things up now. It has metal wheels on the thing. It has. Let's say, oh yeah, it's got body mount couplers. Which really, what I'm doing for in scale, I got some curves and everything. And body mount couplers are not really a hardcore thing because it makes sometimes hard to back up and couple things automatically. And there's a couple of things here. See that number where my thumb just was? There's a window there that has a plate in it. Now, the Athern was a, probably, I think, a little earlier model of this particular item. Even though it's within the same number range, it doesn't have the plate. I haven't really done any research on it, but it's probably that this one here was a little bit later and they had put the plate in here. Got your night. I love the little... I can't remember what those barcode things are on these cars. Call like, so I right to the tip of my tongue. And I don't forgot. I'm just doing this kind of off the cuff. And this yellow on the doorsteps and all are kind of typical of these particular cabooses for Louisville and Nashville, as I can remember back when I was a kid. Look at the, and I like the trim, the aluminum trim around all the windows and such that's on this thing. It actually has glazing. Look at there. And the glass, this is, these things are about around the $30 range. As you can see, that chain looks pretty, Some, I mean, I know it's, thickness is not exactly scale, but it gives you an appearance that there's some chains across that walkway, and you got the brake wheels and all there. They're pretty decent. Realize the top of it. 
for this roof. I'll probably do a little weathering on it eventually, but these cabooses here, like I said, you can, whatever road you have, they made them in several different roads and they have different window configurations and things. And this thing rolls like a Hot Wheels car from back in the day. I'm serious. If you got some kind of incline, this car will roll as well as the other caboose I'll show in here in a minute. I really like how the windows and everything on the ends are done as well as, you know, it's kind of hard for me to see with the phone, but whenever I look at it, probably on later on when I'm getting ready to upload, it'll look pretty good. Got all the details in there and they'll intended to paint the handrails and all that yellow on these the best I can remember from back as a kid and looking at pictures. I said, this right here on this end, that, that letter in there can be read fairly good with the right magnification. Of course, like I said, a distance of a couple of feet, it don't matter anyway, it's in scale. It's one sixtieth of the size of the real thing. It's like, you're not gonna read a lot of that anyway. Now the little emblem here below the window is all legible too. I'm gonna look underneath here. You got some pretty serious different braking detail and hose detail under the bottom. Pretty nice. That's going on. And also back in the box, okay, you can see there, there's like a toolbox I have to glue under the bottom. Like I said, it had some details. It's also got a generator that attaches to the wheels. Of course, one of those is so small on end scale, it's kind of hard to notice. Well, I guess me is that you can actually, if you hold one of these in your hand, you can actually see there's an air gap between those grabs on the ends there. I really like that. Even that one right there under the cover there is very detailed, very finely done. I mean, it may be three sixteenths of an inch bigger than the actual scale for real thing, but hey, who's counting that anyway? But like I said, these things right here, just twisting around, just doing a quick, stupid, amateur type video, kind of dumb hick style here. You see, oh, it does have some, and I mean, I don't, it's got, it's got some stuff on it because that toolbox is going to go right there where those two spots are. And that's going to, would obscure anything anyway. But when it sits on the track, you can see these reservoirs and I'm probably going to weather it and fade it and that kind of thing. Like would it be a little bit more noticeable. Hold this thing back is where you can see that smoke jack right here on the far end right there. That big one right there. Look at that. You can see through that thing. Most of those are solid. Pretty neat. I kind of messed mine up on my Atherm when kind of it fell out of a, the box when I was carrying it to my friend's house. We was going to do some operations, but this is really going to spend you about 30 bucks. And there's this particular model here with L and N are a little hard to find. Uh, I got one more. I think I'm going to order if uh, it's still in my box, my cart from modeltrainstuff.com. If they ain't already sold the two that they had, it's the other number of this thing. They were sold out when I bought this thing. But I bought her this like the day they came out. Really nice. I'm going to sit this thing over here on my layout back behind me or a bench work or whatever. And I'm going to get the other one. I've had this one a while. It's got, it is really cool too. It's a transfer caboose. Mm. Try to knock it in the floor like a moron. Not that I am one. It just, and like I said, it's got a seaboard number, all ones. It's transfer caboose. A lot of that lettering's read, readable. The magnification, I think there's a little bit of it that may not be. But notice that little grab right there on the top on the caboose, the, the actual little box part there. You can actually see behind it. It's all separate wire grabs on this thing. Very nice. Like I said, this thing, if you got like some kind of a slope and you park it on there and uncouple it with a magnetic coupler this thing's gonna roll buddy and it's gonna do like the i usually want to put it on that orange hot wheels track because it will go I had a friend of mine's house he has a branch line on there and he's got a pretty good size layout and this thing came and it came loose and when it didn't come loose i stopped it there on the side and if i could back off into a mine and turn around and looked around that thing i had rolled down the slope and man it was going around that track Headed for the yard. See the decking right there. You can kind of see it in this picture. 
get the orientation of my hand right. See a lot of those little boxes there. If you get to noticing, that's diamond tread plating right there, and it looks <laughs> it looked like diamond tread, tread plating on one of these. Like I said, you've got the aluminum window tr trim around there. It's got glazed windows. Uh, this is kind of what I was saying is this family system thing is kind of in a transition with L and N the seaboard coastline and some other stuff. I said, this thing has these really nice metal wheels. Um, so it got the, the yellow on there. Like, you know, they always L and N this is partly an old L and N kind of stuff. Still had the yellow on everything. And you got like a, not a fake light. It's a fake light right there. It's just painted red. It's a light and it's got some chrome trim around it. Got there and you got like different little things on the roof. You got the antenna, smoke jack, and get back over here and get that in there focus. Yep, you can see through that little cross piece on that smoke jack. And it looks like it's got a firecracker antenna and a couple other antennas. Looks like it's got another little vent. If I can get bored. Trying to do this craziness. Yeah, there's there's another little, there's a couple of little things, a couple of antennas on there. You got a light on both ends of this thing. Pretty neat thing. Got the bay window there. You can see it pops out there. Lens, you got the window on the end. Really neat. And I really like this thing. It's really cool. Looks sharp running on a, on a layout. I'm not kidding you, especially if you got some scenery on it. It really looks sharp. So does the other one that I showed earlier. I said you get a good eye. Now these things here are worth the money too, but they're kind of they're not as many of them out there. Anyway, I got like some kind of lemon on memory that keeps kicking in. I don't know if it's a cloud or what, but I said SCL nailing in. This is kind of gives me a break where I, can, I got a Clinchfield locomotive I bought not long ago, and I got a seaboard coastline stuff. I got L and N. It kind of goes with all this whole thing. And I also got a Family Lines SD40 that I got to. And I may one day do a little review on it. But it's got, it's an Athern, one of those Athern SD40s. It's got pretty good sound and it's got lots of details. And some of them I haven't even put on the locomotive. And this one here, like I think it had like a uh, little generator that mounts to the trucks too. Because it was, had a blue color to the generator, but I haven't put that on it. That's kind of little stuff that. I don't know that I would even notice. I don't sit these things down. And like you see it on the bottom of here, you got breaking detail under there. And you're not going to look at the bottom of these things, but when they're on the layout and you're kind of looking at them, you can kind of see all that stuff a little bit under there. It's, it is kind of noticeable, like the, the box, right the toolbox thing right there under there, upside down. But if you see one of these Blueford Shop transfer caboose, you like to get thinking if you get one, you don't know about the price of it. Uh, it's, it's worth the 30 bucks or so to get one because it's got a lot of detail. You got the diamond tread plates on the uh, walkways. It's just really well done up. Done a real good job on it. Just remember these, a lot of these Blueford shop cabooses, the ones I have roll really well. So anyway, this is going to sign off for the evening. Just going to give a little bit of something. I'll probably flip this thing around, do a real quick out, outro. But if you're thinking about these Bluford shot cabooses, fine. Uh, basically, Bluford did not send me these. These are something I bought, and I just really admired them. I had never actually seen them, but I ordered them from MB Klein or modeltrainstuff.com. And when I got them, I was like, holy smoke. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I ordered them from them. I think I got this at the last train show I went to. Anyway, looks cool. Have fun, folks. Now, that was kind of a thing about those two cabooses. Now, I also got a wood chip hopper. It was a Blueford shop about bought the train show. It has air hoses on this thing, too right there by the couplers, but my fat finger taking out of the box broke them off, but it still looks amazing. Amazing. Uh, the problem is when he, I didn't realize they were there, I'd have been a little bit more delicate, I guess. Just kind of be a big old dummy. I don't know. But 
overall, that particular car looks very nice. So if you're thinking about maybe some of those wood chip hoppers from Blueford shops, eh, it's not a bad deal. They're pretty detailed and like I said, and they, they roll really well too. They will go. Uh, and I think it even has the body mounted couplers. A lot of people, they want the body mounted couplers and all. But basically with my layout, I do like some operations and body mounted couplers really don't do me that much well good because I got like a little curve here or on somewhere in a paper mail got a switch or something I want to go through. It makes it a little more difficult to back up and hook them up. And I've worked operations with a friend of mine's layout and it's kind of the same thing. So these body mounted couplers, yeah, with me, they're okay, but it's not something that I really, really have to have. Uh, basically, and I'm running, basically, even though I'm using LNN locomotives, also got some uh, switchers. I got a, a couple of Southern Pacific Tiger Stripe things. One's a VO 1000, one's a, another one's a Bachman, uh, one of the S4, I think it is. I also got a Union Pacific Bachman S4, and I got the yellow and black NW2. It looks like the Mississippi Export Railroad, if you've, anybody's familiar with that railroad. It's the exact same color schemes. I just don't know where to get decals and maybe to put that on there. But I'm thinking I'll just put some kind of possum by you railroad or something. Maybe the initials PBR. Uh, it ain't nothing to do with past blue ribbon, but hey, it could be easily done. Order decals or make them myself that way. But real quick video, nothing to it. Nice cabooses, 30 bucks. They're worth it. And also that those hoppers, yeah, they're kind of hard to come by. I got that one at a train show. And I also, I think I, I've had that. No, I have another one of those. That's my second one that I bought. But I got that one at a train show not long ago in Gulfport. So quit rambling, get over here and edit this thing, get it loaded up. And I got another one. I got a, that recorded earlier, by the way, if you notice, it's got the same hat, same shirt on. Anyway, I'm putting together a uh, micro-engineering building. And it's kind of a goofy way I've had to do kind of do that but it looks pretty good it's real amateurish and I'm like nah, I really don't care I'll figure all this stuff out I'm trying to figure in what kind of camera stuff but this phone does okay I got you know the lighting in here is not too bad I got to do some work on a layout tomorrow I've been off work for two weeks I got to go back Monday Monday's going to be the mother of all Mondays I got a lot of catching up to do do my project management stuff at the shipyard <sighs> anyway you folks just have fun. Enjoy the rest of this week. Hey, it's the weekend. It's tomorrow, Saturday. Hey, hey, hey. I'll be working on train layout all day tomorrow. So I want to get some stuff. Got me a new nail gun. Now I can pop that thing together pretty quick. Hey, hey, hey. Later, folks. <laughs>